Hello everyone, today we're going to discuss about our second project assignment on human-robot interaction course. So the task was to implement follow me application on our robot using Python Naoki. First of all, he should wave hello, then say hi human, I want to come with you, but I used a different phrase. And then he should like raise one of his arm for the user to hold it, and then for example in order to change direction, for example right or left, you should uh, change the angle of wrist and if you want to change the speed of the robot you should change the angle of shoulder so here you can observe my Naoki robot also for example here in order to do some comments you need to import timeline here and then for example press here and for example make some changes and right click store whole body and then for example if everything is completed you need to for example here's motion of my hello you need to export in python busier here so after that it will copy it but here you need to paste it for example ctrl v so the next thing here my script we already was provided with test test file here you can test it play with it and you understand how it works the first thing that you need to do, not to forget, include your IP and port. And here I use the shoulder pitch and the left wrist. And here you can observe that I define a hello function, uh, paste my export, like um, hello from choreograph software. And here, like I paste it until this. And here I call my hello function back. And after that, I convert like in text to speech use TTS so my now robot says hi I want to play with you after that the arms is drop it and I call another function like define right left arm so again I just uh, like put the position like just he my ro robot just write his arm and then I just call this function for the user in order to hold it and here you can observe my like another function here is just disable like motion of my left arm during move so here where the thing starts work uh, while here it's my speed of like just shoulder joint it just take radiance and here it converts radiance to angles and the same principle is here for rotation but I add another line here it uh, controls like uh, speed of my rotation so here you can observe that, for example, when my arm is completely up or not completely up, but almost or about 90 degree, it should move faster. So here you can observe speed of two. And here also, if, for example, my arm is about 90 degree or about to drop, then it should move with a constant velocity of one. So it's move slower and otherwise it should stop for example but also you should notice that for example uh, when my robot is completely stopped I still can rotate my turn right or left my robot because I think it's logically correct and the next thing here is rotations but uh, I should note here that for example the last position was uh, right left arm and the angle of wrist was minus 81 so I just give the user another 10 degree to avoid some unwanted turn so I put here 91 but for example in case if the robot will completely stop I should not write like 71 here so that's why I included another wall here 16 uh, it was done in order for example when my uh, arm is completely dropped then the angle will be like I don't know for example here you can observe that the angle will be 6 so that's why I use it here uh, 16.3 not like 71 so in this case then it will turn to left and in this case to right so let me demonstrate you so here uh, like this so so it waves hello the next thing TTS then so you can see here we are going faster, we are going slower, I need to stop. You can still rotate to left 
to right, I mean, or left. So, for example, if you are moving here, if your arm is too bent, I need to stop because I also include this one. And, for example, if it completely drop it, I need... <clears throat> I need to stop also. It's a little bit laggy, that's why there's some delay. I mean, uh, choreograph is laggy. So, for example, if you hold your arm like this, then it moves faster and you can still rotate left or right. So, rotating. But, for example, I just hold the value, for example, if I release it, so it's okay, so... So everything works perfectly, I guess. So that's all for the second assignment. If you have any question regarding my script or like working principle, you can ask me. So thank you for watching, see you next time.